After almost two months of debate in the Japanese upper house, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's new security package will be up for a vote soon. It includes bills that would allow Japanese troops to fight abroad for the first time since World War II. Thousands have taken to the streets to protest the measures. CCTV's Terence Hiroshima reports. Thousands took to the streets in protest to the bills that essentially reinterprets the pacifist constitution, allowing Japan to exercise the collective self-defense, taking out geographical constraints in providing support to the U.S. security operations in the world. The majority of people oppose the security bills, which also include a collective self-defense. People fear that it will enable the Japanese self-defense forces to assist U.S. and allied forces in combat missions overseas, which also violates Japan's pacifist constitution. Shinzo Abe said that the support will be limited and Japanese forces will not be directly involved in combat missions. Japanese forces are going to be you know, brought to provide logistical support all over the world in support of American operations. And the sort of a gray area of logistical support, how will these people avoid being involved in combat? And that's what people are concerned about. Despite renewing the U.S.-Japan defense guidelines and agreement in security corporations, there seems to be temperature difference between Tokyo and Washington in the scope of Japan's involvement during practical operations outside the Japanese waters. This has become a real major uh, flaw in the U.S.-Japan strategy to bolster their alliance in order to improve deterrence because even if you pass these bills, if public opposition is so strong, if Abe continues to fail to really gain any public understanding, what does this really mean in practical terms of what he could actually do in the event of a crisis? Government sources said the security package is expected to pass the Diet around mid-September. Terence Teroshima, CCTV, Tokyo.